Hello student, welcome to chess session. Okay, this is the second video. In the first video, we discussed ki what's the name of the pieces and what's the shape of the chess board. In today, we discussed ki how the king move, how the queen move and rest pieces. So let's start the session. Now I share my screen. Okay, now my screen is visible to you. So today we talk about ki how the queen move. See, we already discussed ki that rook move uh, like a plus or you can say the rook move in four direction like up down and left right up down right and left as well as we also covered the bishop part ki the bishop move diagonally if the bishop uh, background square is white so the bishop only move in white square and if the bishop background color is black or brown so the bishop only move in brown square now today we talk about how the queen move queen is very stronger piece like this queen is a power of two pieces one is a rook and one is a bishop so we already know the rook move like a plus and the bishop move like a cross or you can say diagonal so the queen move like a rook so up down right and left as well as diagonal like a bishop clear so if i'm saying student just compare okay, which piece play which piece is more powerful so queen i give the example queen bishop or rook what's your answer queen if i'm saying queen or bishop compare the both the pieces and tell me who is a stronger your answer is queen excellent now we talk about the king king move everywhere but only one step like king go up king go down king go right as well as left even diagonal also but only one step Clear this one? Now the question is, ki, who is more important for us? King or queen? So the answer is king. King is more important for us because if the king is die, you're not able to play the game. The game is over. But if you lose a queen, still you can play the game. So, if someone asks to you okay, which is an important piece in the chess, so your answer is king. And if someone asks you which piece is more stronger, more powerful, so your answer is queen. Clear? So now again I repeat, the king move up, down, right and left, as well as diagonal, but only one step. Suppose now I change the king position. Now you know now how to read the chess board. So right now the king position is A8. See the alphabet and see the number. So the king position is A8. Now my question is ki right now how many option black king has to move? So your answer is the black king has three option to go. It's a black choice. Black which option black opt and go. But right now black has three options clear now i give you another question now tell me let's see who tell me the answer first now tell me how many option blacking has to move yes your answer is correct we have five option to move the king but it's the king choice where the king go but yes the king has five option again i change the king position so king position is f4 and king has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 option to move. In the game, king has maximum 8 option and minimum. Sometimes the king has no option. So you can say minimum 0. Clear this one? Now we covered the king. We covered the queen. We covered the rook. And we covered the bishop also. Some students... Ask miss, can the queen move d8 in one shot? Means in one move? Your answer is, the answer is yes. The king, the queen can move. Like if you want to capture, suppose there's a pawn. I just randomly take the white pawn. So the queen simply capture this pawn in one move. Clear? 
there's a no limitation with the queen queen can move one step two step or three step or four step if there is an empty square the king move okay if you have any doubt then just write your comment i try to give the answer as early as possible so the queen part is covered the king part is covered the rook part is also covered and the bishop part is covered now two pieces left one is knight and one is pawn okay now first we discuss about the knight okay knight move in l shape everyone know now how to make the l okay i will give you a hint in the in the english notebook or as a many subjects you make a l okay some students names start from l so l shape like this you you have a small chess board no? chess board shape is small not a big so we make a small l like two step down and then turn so knight again knight move four direction but how see if you want to go up knight can move two step forward then turn and it's totally depend on the knight it's totally depend on uh, you okay you want to take right turn or left turn it means if the knight go up knight has two option to go one is e7 and other one is c7 suppose the knight wants to go down so again two step down and then turn 2 1 2 1 so two step down and turn right turn or left turn so again the knight has two option to go if the knight wants to go down now if the knight wants to go right like this again knight has two option to go one is two and then turn again two and then turn so again knight has two option clear now we move our knight to left hand side so again two step move then two and then turn again we make a l okay if we see this one this is a l small l so right now the king the knight has eight option to move clear this one okay so now what you do simply just put your knight any position and just try to make l small l two step down and then turn two step up and then turn two step again right then turn so it's easy for you to understand ki how we move the knight to one place to another place clear now we talk about the pawn okay see right now just remember this thing ki in the starting in the starting i show you the how the chess look like okay. see this is a chess okay before discuss ki how the pawn move first i tell you how to arrange the pieces on the chess board then we discuss the pawn part i just remove all the pieces from the chess board okay now just see the chess board carefully and tell me which is the second line this is the second line yes so just see the second line and arrange all the pawns like this clear now see the corner you have two corners just put your rook like this then take the knight and again just put side to the towards the rook then arrange the bishop okay easy to go first we arrange the pawn at second line then we arrange the rook then we arrange the knight and then we arrange the bishop now two empty squares yes now just raise your right hand pick your king and raise the right hand and put the right hand side clear and just uh, now you have only one empty square just arrange your queen easy to go arrange the pawn then arrange the remaining pieces and from white black side just copy the white pieces suppose if you see if i flip the board so from this side this is the second line so quickly arrange your all the pawns like this okay 
then rock, the knight, then bishop, then just there's a queen, arrange the queen, the king, arrange the king. Clear? Easy to go? Now, right now, this is a position. So, this is a starting point of pawn. Right now, pawn not move anywhere. This is a starting position. Is Or you can say the initial position. Now, in this position, it's a pawn choice. Pawn can move one step or two steps because it's the initial position. But after moving any, if the pawn move one step or two step, it means pawn already move. After that, the pawn only move two step. I give the example. Suppose if you move this pawn one step and the black also move for any pawn randomly, then now it this pawn already move. So you can move this pawn only one step. Clear? Suppose you move this pawn two step. And again, the black move randomly anything. Again, you move this pawn only one step. It means in the starting, the pawn can move one step or two step. But after that, the pawn only move one step ahead. Clear? Pawn not go right, not pawn, pawn not go left, even the pawn not go down to simply move. The pawn not move anywhere, just pawn simply move straight up. Clear? Any doubt? How the pawn captures the other piece? We see this part in the next video. So right now, I just give you the quick, uh, the brief part of this, what which uh, what we discussed today. Now I just ask few questions which we discussed in the today class. Okay, who is a powerful piece? Powerful piece, queen or king? Your answer is. Queen, very nice. Who, which piece is more important for us? King or queen? Yes, king. Now we talk about the key, which piece is more powerful? Queen or bishop? Again, your answer is queen. Very nice. How the queen move? Queen move like a rook as well as bishop. Now the last part is how the knight move. Knight move in an L shape like this. So simply just remember two one two one combination. So it's easy for you to understand and move the knight in the starting. After after you will become an expert in this, and it's very easy for you to move the knight. Okay okay. Now you know how you move the knight. Just knight move. Just knight make a L like this. So simply remember two one combination. So it's easy for you. And in the starting, it will help you to put your knight one place to another place. So student, hope you understand today's session. Just do revision. Bye-bye.